Hey GED students, it's GED question of the day time. And it looks like we have a very simple computation problem. Something where all you have to do is just, um, you know, add, subtract, multiply, or divide a couple of numbers here. So in this case, it looks like subtraction. You can see uh, directions say simplify, which just means perform the indicated operation, do what the symbols tell you to do. And the symbols tell me that I'm going to take negative 15 and minus. 6. So, um, negative 15 minus 6. Now, a lot of students get this problem wrong because there's something they don't understand about adding and subtracting. Um, so, I think the easiest way to envision something like this is on a number line. So, I will bust out a number line here. Now, uh, hopefully you know that uh, when you're looking at zero on a number line, your positive numbers come out this way, one, two, three. As you go to the right, your numbers get greater and greater. And then your negative numbers mirror those, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on and so forth. And they go off to the left, getting more and more negative. So this is an interesting problem because um, it starts at negative 15. The first number is kind of where you're starting. It's your starting point. And um, I did not give myself enough space on this number line. So let's just erase the numbers that I put here. And imagine that I was a little further on on my number line. Like maybe here's negative 12. And then, oops, sorry about that negative 12, and it would keep getting more and more negative, negative 13, 14, here's negative 15. Okay, so the first number is my starting point. A lot of people struggle with adding and subtracting uh, negative numbers. If that's you, uh, you might benefit from playing with a number line until you begin to get the hang of it. Now, what they're doing here is they're telling us from negative 15, they want us to go in the negative direction. We're subtracting, so our numbers are getting less and less. Remember that as you get less, you go left on a number line. This feels counterintuitive to students. But indeed, like if you are already in debt, $15, a negative number is like debt, so I was in debt, $15, and then I took six more dollars out of my account, I spent another six bucks, I would be even more in debt. I'd be going down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so what would happen is even though this is a subtraction problem, I did just subtract, my debt is getting greater because I was already in debt and then I got more in debt. And so um, negative 15 minus six is negative 21. That feels counterintuitive to students. They feel like they should have gotten nine. Uh, but no, if I was already negative, and then I went more negative, now I'm really in trouble. I'm a lot negative. Okay, so great. I hope that made sense to you using the number line uh, analogy, also a little bit of the money analogy, but that's not the only way to think about negative numbers. So if that didn't make sense to you, let me know. I've got more explanations. Um, if you have a question about this or any other math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer it.